So you're currently a statistics major and you wanna break into the field of data science, but you're not sure what other skills you're gonna need in order to get a career in it. And lucky for you, I'm almost entirely through my statistics major and I have a little bit of experience in the data science field, so I can talk about exactly what other skills I needed to learn in order to break into data science. All right, so let's start off by talking about some of the valuable skills related to data science that you're actually going to learn in your statistics degree. So the first and one of the most important is probability. Now I've taken probably four or five courses at this point on probability, and it's going to be one of the most vital parts of a data science career. This is what everybody thinks about when they're talking about data science, using machine learning to solve probability problems, assign probabilities to say customers, and the probability of them buying a new product. To me, this is one of the most valuable resources of being a statistics major is actually being able to understand probability because it's really the backbone of a lot of machine learning. And the nice thing about a statistics major is that you're not only just learning the math behind probability, you're also learning a little bit about how you can apply the concepts in something like R. Now, speaking of R, that's another one of the most important skills that you're going to learn as a statistics major. Now, I don't know if it's the same for everybody, However, for me, I used R for a bunch of different courses that I had. I used it for a regression course, a time series course, um, a basic data analysis course, and a machine learning course. So just those four courses alone taught me a lot about R, but I've also been using R in a few of the research positions and internships that I've had. So not only is R something you're going to learn as a statistics major, you're also going to be using it in your day to day as a data science when you eventually reach that position. Now, some people are going to say Python's more important. But the crossover between R and Python really isn't that challenging. But this kind of alludes to a big secret uh, as far as getting into a data science role. But I'm going to talk about that later in the video, so make sure you stick around. But that is a nice segue into another thing that you're going to learn as a statistics major, and that's data analysis. And what I mean by saying data analysis, I mean you can start from a problem, you have a question, a research question in mind, and as long as you have the data, you can figure out some kind of answer to that question. Um, you might be able to show trends over time. You might be able to show differences between groups. This is the basics of data analysis that I'm talking about. Now, through your time as a statistics major, you're probably going to focus on a few bigger data analysis projects. Um, for me, I did probably three bigger ones uh, and then a bunch of mini data analysis projects as well. And the nice thing about that is you kind of learn a few different softwares that you're going to use. And for some data science roles, you're definitely going to be using something like Tableau and you're most definitely going to be using R. So kind of working from a project from start to finish, it's gonna be a super invaluable skill that you're gonna learn as a statistics major. Now, finally, the last thing that I'm gonna talk about that you're going to learn as a statistics major is a little bit of machine learning. And I say a little bit because I, I really mean that you're only going to learn a little bit of machine learning. Now, I wish this was something that statistics majors focus a little bit more on. It would have been more helpful to me. However, I did take one course in machine learning uh, and that was kind of the only exposure I got through my actual statistics degree. Now, for me personally, this machine learning course was in R. So if you want to know a little bit more about machine learning in Python, that's going to be have, have to be something that you do on your own. And unfortunately, this machine learning course that I took didn't really go much into the weeds as, in terms of concepts. Really, it was more about practically using the, the machine learning concepts in R. Um, but if you want to learn more about the backbones of machine learning and how it actually works to better understand it, that's also going to be something that you're gonna to have to research on your own. So now we've seen some of the valuable skills that you're going to learn as a stats major in terms of a data science career. However, there's a few other important skills that you need to know. And the first is working with big data. One thing I found out really quickly working in the internship that I'm currently working in is that the data analysis projects you do in school are nothing like a real world project. Things are a lot messier, um, there's a lot more data, and the answers aren't always so simple. So getting your hands on big data and working with it is super, super important if you're gonna be a data scientist. Not only this, but things can get a little bit weird in terms of data pipelining. This is where some data engineering expertise can also come into play. So figuring out how to get data from a place where big data is stored into your analysis platform of choice, so say it's Python or R, getting it from one point to another can be a challenge in itself. So you really need to understand some of these pipelines and how data flows from one software to the other. All right, and so I kind of alluded to it in the beginning, but machine learning is going to be, again, one of the most important skills that you can have as a data scientist. Now, personally, for my machine learning course that I took as a statistics major, I don't think it prepared me enough um, for the amount of machine learning knowledge that you need as a data scientist. So that's going to be something that you're really, really want to, going to want to focus on in some personal projects. Do them on the side um, and learn those concepts both in Python and in R and whatever other software you decide to use. But definitely, definitely try to focus more on that machine learning aspect. And on top of that, make sure you definitely learn some Python as well, because I've seen a lot of data science job postings 
require that the, the user knows Python and is very proficient in Python. Um, I was lucky enough that my research position focused mainly on Python. Um, so I got exposure to R through school and I got exposure to Python through that uh, research opportunity. Now, another big concept that you're going to need to know as a data scientist is communication. And I don't think my statistics degree prepared me enough in terms of communication, especially in a data science setting. So you might do a few presentations in your statistics degree, but it's nowhere near the level of communication that you need to go through as a data scientist. You'll have to realize that you're not going to be working with only data scientists or only software engineers. You're going to be working with upper management. You're going to be working with stakeholders. And ultimately, you're trying to find solutions to big problems that the entire organization has. All right, now finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, the number one thing in order to get a data science role after your statistics degree is experience. And if you want to see exactly how I got my experience as a student researcher and got my internship experience, go ahead and watch this video next because I break down exactly how I did that.